Your mattress may be the most dangerous thing in your room, and you don't even know it. Every night, you lie on it, snuggle into it, and trust it to help you sleep. But instead of helping you recover, it may be causing back pain, raising your stress, and exposing you to hidden toxins. We spend about a third of our entire lives on mattresses. That's more hours than in our cars, at work, or even with our closest friends. It almost no one stops to question what's happening beneath the sheets. But don't worry, in this video, we're going to show you how your mattress can affect your sleep, your mood, and your long-term health, and what you can do right now to make it into a place for genuine rest. A co-worker of mine told me how a friend of hers had been struggling with neck and back pain for years. She tried stretching, massages, and bought new pillows, but nothing worked. One day, on a whim, she replaced her 10-year-old mattress. Within a few days, the pain was gone. This might sound like a coincidence, but researchers have in fact observed the same pattern again and again. People who switch to a new mattress often report waking up without stiffness, feeling more refreshed, and even noticing less stress in their day. What's surprising is how many of us never connect everyday symptoms to the mattress beneath us. So how long does a mattress really last? On average, most people have theirs for close to a decade. But honestly, if your mattress has hit year seven or more, it may be already working against you. And I'll prove it to you. In one study published in the journal of Chiropractic Medicine, researchers took a group of people that were sleeping on mattresses that were almost 10 years old and gave them brand new ones. They were asked to come back in four weeks. And what they saw was remarkable. The first thing they looked at, back pain. People in the study reported a 48% drop. Nearly half of their chronic discomfort just vanished. Not from a drug or physical therapy, but just from changing the thing they slept on. And it went way beyond pain. Their sleep quality went up by 55% meaning that they had deeper and more restful sleep. The researchers also noticed stress levels drop by over 20%. And it makes sense, if you sleep well, you'll be able to live well. A study from 2015 on people whose mattresses were over 11 years old showed similar benefits. Their physical and psychological stress dropped significantly and they started sleeping longer. And the improvements also spilled over during the day. As a 2024 study found, switching to a medium firm mattress also boosted daytime mood. People reported less tension and anger, felt more energized, and described themselves as feeling more positive throughout the day. So basically, upgrading your mattress or not isn't just about comfort. It's a change that dictates how your body recovers, how your mind feels, and how you show up every single day. Now, on the surface, a mattress can look perfectly fine, but it's the inside that often tells a real story. In one study, scientists collected 32 mattresses, all around nine years old. They compared the springs in the center of the mattress with the springs at the head and foot of the mattress. With just a little over two pounds of pressure, the springs in the center compressed by more than an inch, while the other ones sank just about half as much. So to the naked eye, the mattress still looks normal and covered with sheets and a bedspread, they look perfect, but the testing revealed a very different truth. The support system in the middle was basically useless and the hidden sag has proper consequences because it means that your body sinks every night, your posture is thrown off and your sleep quality takes a hit. So even if your bed looks fine and even comfy, it may be silently undermining the way you rest and recover. But sagging springs are just the beginning. If what's inside the mattress is a concern, what's living on it? Well, it's a whole other level of growth. It turns out there's an entire microscopic world thriving in your bed, and you're sleeping right in the middle of it. Every single year, the average person sheds about 1.1 pounds of dead skin cells, about the same weight as a loaf of bread. And guess where a huge chunk of it ends up? Yep, right in your bed. Now, that's not really a problem on its own, but it becomes an all-you-can-eat buffet for dust mites. The little guys are microscopic and totally invisible to the human eye, and they love your mattress. It's warm, a little humid from your body heat, 
and packed with their favorite food, your dead skin. For millions of them, they call your mattress home. The real issue is what they leave behind, their droppings, exoskeletons, and their eggs. Researchers have identified over 20 allergens from mites that can trigger rashes, sneezing, and asthma. A study out of Thailand found that the levels of these allergens doubled from the 9-month mark to 12 months of mattress use. And other research shows that foam mattresses can hold 3 to 5 times more mite droppings than spring mattresses. Now, dust mites are not your only neighbors. They are also bacteria and mold. Mattresses soak up sweat, saliva, and humidity, creating the perfect environment for microbes. Studies have identified bacteria like Staphylococcus and all sorts of molds inside old mattresses. These can cause all kinds of things from skin rashes to allergies and in more serious cases, even lung infections. And the risks aren't just for adults. A long-term study in Scotland found that reusing infant mattresses, especially those handed down from other households, was correlated with a higher risk of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. The researchers believe bacteria and toxins in worn-out mattresses may play a role. Also, certain molds can cause excessive inflammation, affecting not just the body, but the brain. Researchers have linked mold exposure to cognitive problems, emotional imbalance, and behavioral issues. The only real defense is controlling humidity indoors, which, if kept under 50%, makes it much more difficult for mold to grow. And finally, chemicals. Since the 1970s, many mattresses have contained flame retardants. In certain foams, these chemicals can make up 3 to 7% of the total weight. Some newer mattresses even use fiberglass. These fragments are small, thin enough to inhale, and can irritate the skin, throat, and lungs. Not every mattress has these problems, but the dangers can add up. Dust mites, bacteria, mold, and chemicals. They're not visible when you lie down at night, but they may just be keeping you company while you dream. Not all mattresses age the same way. The materials, the build quality, and even your own body weight can make a big difference. Take inner spring mattresses. They tend to wear out faster because the coils lose tension over time. Memory foam and latex can last longer. But even here, the details matter. A low-density foam mattress will usually sag years earlier than a high-density one because there's simply less material holding up its shape. And your weight matters too. Heavier individuals compress a mattress much more each night. One manufacturer even noted a customer over 300 pounds who would have to get a mattress in less than a year. When he switched to a high-quality latex mattress, it lasted for years without the same breakdown. Another thing people often rely on when judging a mattress is the warranty. A 20 or 25-year guarantee sounds reassuring, but it doesn't mean your mattress will keep you comfortable for that long. Most warranties only cover the inner structure, not the sagging or loss of support that affects your sleep quality. In reality, your body might start feeling the aches years before the warranty expires. Still, longer warranties can be a good sign of better construction compared to mattresses with none at all. But just remember, a warranty is no promise of comfort. Now, you might be ready to throw out your mattress, but there are some practical and really effective steps to extend its life and create a better place to sleep. Well, the first question is, how old is your mattress? Most experts agree that a mattress should be swapped out every 7 to 10 years. So, if your mattress has reached retirement age, get a new one. Second, rotation. Turn your mattress every 3 to 6 months to reduce the body impressions and keep the surface even. Flip it only if it allows. Some mattresses, like those with layer foam or extra support, aren't built to be flipped, and you can only rotate them instead. Third, cleaning. Vacuum the mattress surface regularly and wash your sheets in hot water once a week. Dust mites can't survive heat above 130 Fahrenheit, so this simple step keeps them in check. Twice a year, give your mattress a real deep clean. Start by vacuuming the entire surface and pay extra attention to the corners. For stains, use mild soap or baking soda with water, then gently scrub. Finally, let the mattress air out before putting the sheets back on. Fourth is allergen protection. If you have allergies, a mattress cover can help. Look for one with pores smaller than half a micron, because that's small enough to block out the allergens. 
these covers usually last two to three years, so just keep that in mind. And finally, the environment. Mattresses soak up moisture and mold loves dampness. Keeping your bedroom humidity under 50% makes it much harder for mold to grow. So buy a dehumidifier if you live in a humid environment. None of these things are particularly difficult to do and taken together, they extend your mattress's life and keep the surface you spend a third of your life clean, supportive, and safe. At the end of the day, your mattress is more than just where you sleep. It's the surface where your body is supposed to restore itself, where your mind should reset, and where your health is either supportive or gradually worn down. The lesson is simple. The bed you trust each night shapes the life you wake up to each morning. Thanks for watching. Now, tell me, when was the last time you changed your mattress? And did it make a difference? Let me know in the comments. I recently changed mine and it made a huge difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe.